How to introduce yourself. Hi there. My name is Mark. What's your name? Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sarah. So, do you have any tips on how to introduce ourselves effectively? Absolutely. When introducing yourself, it's important to be clear and concise. Start by giving your name, like you did earlier. Then you can mention a few things about yourself, such as where you're from or what you do. That sounds simple enough. Should I include my hobbies and interests as well? Definitely. Sharing your hobbies and interests helps others get to know you better. It's a great way to find common ground with people. Just remember to keep it brief and relevant. Got it. So, should I also mention my age and educational background? It's not necessary unless the situation specifically calls for it, like a formal introduction at a conference or a job interview. In general, focus on highlighting your strengths and what makes you unique. That makes sense. I'll keep that in mind. What about body language during introductions? Good question, Mark. Body language plays a crucial role in making a positive impression. Make eye contact, smile, and offer a firm handshake if it's appropriate. Stand tall and maintain an open posture to show confidence and approachability. I see. Confidence is key, right? Absolutely. Confidence is important, but don't forget to be genuine, too. People appreciate authenticity, so be yourself and let your personality shine through. That's great advice, Sarah. I sometimes struggle with small talk after introductions. Any tips on that? Small talk can be challenging, but it's a great way to initiate conversations. Start by asking open-ended questions, such as what brings you here today, or how do you like this event so far? This allows the other person to share more about themselves. Those are great conversation starters. What if I forget someone's name after they introduce themselves? Forgetting names happens to all of us. If you can't recall someone's name, don't panic. Instead, you can say something like, I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble remembering your name. Could you please remind me? It shows that you're interested and willing to make an effort. That's a polite way to handle it. Thanks for the suggestion, Sarah. Is there anything else I should keep in mind while introducing myself? One more thing. Mark. Remember to be attentive and actively listen when the other person is speaking. Show genuine interest by nodding, asking follow-up questions, and maintaining good eye contact. It helps in building a connection. Excellent advice, Sarah. Thanks for all your help. I feel more confident about introducing myself now. You're welcome, Mark. I'm glad I could assist you. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and engage in conversations. You'll become more comfortable with time. I will definitely keep practicing. Thanks again, Sarah. No problem, Mark. Best of luck with your introductions. I'm sure you'll do great. Thank you, Sarah. Take care and have a wonderful day. You too, Mark. Goodbye. Where do you live? Hi there. My name is David. What's your name? Hi, David. I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Emily. So where do you live? I live in a small town called Greenfield. It's about an hour's drive from the city. How about you? I live in the city, actually. 
I'm in downtown Manhattan. It's quite a bustling place. Oh, that sounds exciting. I've always wanted to visit New York City. What's it like living there? Living in the city is fast, paced, and vibrant. There's always something going on, and the energy is incredible. It can get a bit crowded at times, but the opportunities and cultural experiences are unparalleled. That sounds amazing. I love being close to nature, though. In Greenfield, we have beautiful parks, rivers, and forests surrounding us. It's peaceful and refreshing. I can see the appeal of living in a more serene environment. Having access to nature sounds lovely. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Absolutely. I'm an avid hiker, so being close to nature allows me to explore different trails and enjoy the scenic beauty. I also enjoy picnics by the river and spending time in the local parks. That sounds wonderful, Emily. I'm more into urban activities like visiting art galleries and trying out new restaurants. The city offers a diverse range of cuisines and cultural experiences. I can imagine. Exploring different cuisines and art sounds like a lot of fun. Greenfield has some nice local restaurants and small art galleries too, but it's on a smaller scale. It's interesting how our living environments influence our hobbies and interests. Have you lived in Greenfield your whole life? Yes, I have. Greenfield is my hometown, and I have many fond memories here. It's a close-knit community, and everyone knows each other. There's a strong sense of belonging. That's lovely. I've moved around quite a bit due to work and personal reasons. While it's exciting to experience different places, sometimes I miss having a stable community like yours. I can understand that. Building a strong community takes time and effort. However, moving around can also provide you with diverse experiences and opportunities for personal growth. You're right, Emily. Each place I've lived in has taught me something new and helped me broaden my perspective. It's fascinating to see how different cultures and communities coexist. Absolutely. It's one of the joys of exploring new places. So, apart from hiking, what are some other activities you enjoy, David? Well, I'm a bit of a movie buff. I enjoy watching films, and sometimes I even go to film festivals. I find it fascinating how movies can tell powerful stories and evoke emotions. That sounds interesting, David. Movies have a way of transporting us to different worlds and connecting with our emotions. I enjoy watching movies too, especially ones with inspiring messages. It's great to find common interests, Emily. Maybe we can organize a movie night sometime. Even if we're in different locations, we can watch and discuss our favorite films. That sounds like a lot of fun, David. I'd love to do that. It's amazing how technology allows us to connect and share experiences even when we're physically apart. Indeed, technology has made the world feel smaller and more connected. It's a powerful tool that can bridge distances and bring people together. Absolutely. Well, David, it was great chatting with you about where we live and our interests. I've learned a lot about the city and your experiences. Likewise, Emily. It was a pleasure getting to know you and hearing about Greenfield. Thank you for sharing. I hope we can continue our conversation soon. Definitely, David. Let's stay in touch and continue our dialogue. Have a great day. You too, Emily. Take care and have a wonderful time in Greenfield. 
thank you. Goodbye, David. Goodbye, Emily. What's your name? Hi there. My name is John. What's your name? Hi, John. Nice to meet you. I'm Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you, Emma. So, do you know the meaning behind your name? Yes, I do. Emma is derived from the Germanic word ermin, which means whole or universal. It's a popular name with a timeless feel to it. That's interesting. My name, John, comes from the Hebrew name Yoshanan, which means God is gracious. It's a name with deep biblical roots. Wow! That's a powerful meaning, John. It's fascinating how names can carry so much history and significance. Absolutely. Names often have cultural, religious, or family connections. They can reflect our heritage and the values our parents hold dear. I completely agree. Names can also shape our identity and influence how others perceive us. That's true, Emma. Our names often become a part of our personal brand, and they play a role in how we present ourselves to the world. Definitely. But it's also important to remember that our names don't solely define who we are as individuals. Our actions and character matter just as much. Absolutely. Our names are just a starting point. It's our qualities, values, and actions that truly define us. So true, John. It's about the person behind the name. Speaking of which, do you have any nicknames or preferred ways to be called? Yes. Some of my friends call me Johnny. It's a more casual and friendly variation of my name. How about you, Emma? Well, some of my family members call me Em or Emmy for short. It's a nickname that has stuck with me since childhood. That's adorable, Emma. Nicknames can create a sense of familiarity and closeness among friends and loved ones. I agree, John. They can also add a touch of warmth and affection to our relationships. Definitely. So, Emma, have you ever come across someone with the same name as yours? Yes, I have. It's quite common to meet people with the same name. It can be a fun conversation starter, actually. It sure can be. I've met a few Johns throughout my life, and it's always interesting to compare experiences and see if we have any similarities. It's like finding a name twin. It's fascinating how we can connect with others simply because we share the same name. Absolutely. It's a small world, and our names can sometimes serve as unexpected connections. Speaking of connections, John, do you have any favorite fictional characters or historical figures who share your name? Yes, I do. One of the most famous Johns in history is John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States. He was a charismatic leader who made a significant impact. That's impressive, John. It must be inspiring to share a name with such an influential figure. It is, Emma. It serves as a reminder that we can strive to make a positive impact in our own lives, regardless of our names. Absolutely. We all have the power to create our own legacies, no matter what our names are. Well said, Emma. Our names may be the beginning of our stories, but it's up to us to write the rest of the chapters. Indeed, John. It was wonderful talking to you about our names and the meaning they hold. Thank you for the insightful conversation. Thank you too, Emma. I thoroughly enjoyed our discussion. Names are truly fascinating. Have a great day.
You too, John. Take care and have a fantastic time ahead. Goodbye, Emma. Goodbye, John.